Prime Minister, uh, thank you for a very constructive uh, meeting. Um, it is indeed a great pleasure to, to be in Slovakia uh, as you mark 10 years uh, since your accession uh, to NATO. Slovakia is playing a valuable role in our alliance uh, from building security uh, in Afghanistan to strengthening uh, our military capabilities through projects uh, such as the Allied ground surveillance reconnaissance drones. We meet at a critical time for the Euro-Atlantic uh, area. Russia's uh, illegal and illegitimate aggression uh, against uh, Ukraine undermines the very principles uh, on which our security and prosperity have been built uh, since the end of the Cold War. That every nation is free to make its own choices and that European nations do not use force against one another in the 21st century. NATO's core task is clear, to defend and protect our allies. We have already taken immediate measures. We have more planes in the air, more ships at sea, and more exercises on the ground, and we will continue to do what is necessary. NATO is based on solidarity, all for one and one for all. So NATO keeps every ally safe, and every ally is expected to play its full part in contributing to our shared security. The crisis in Ukraine shows that defense matters, and that we have to invest more in defense to preserve our security. I've discussed that with the Prime Minister, and I know this is not easy, but it is essential as we prepare for our NATO summit in September. Defense comes at a cost, but insecurity is much more expensive. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.